tips on self-motivation and confidence, especially when it comes to speaking. So, I can answer this one. So, when it comes to self-confidence, um, when you're in front of, when you're speaking in front of people, particularly in front of barristers, the process can be quite intimidating because you're focusing on not sounding like a moron um, and you don't want to get things wrong. But what I've realized is that no matter what it, it is, whether I'm doing a musical performance or an advocacy performance, if I'm prepared, and I mean really prepared, I'm ready for anything. You know, when I was in my moot final, it was really, you know, prestigious and, and it was in the Supreme Court and there was, you know, a former Supreme Court justice was there and a QC. So it really wasn't the time to sound like a dummy. Um, but I focused less on that and more on the fact that I prepared, I practiced, I prepared, I prepared thoroughly. I knew where all of my authorities are. I knew my way around my bundle. And that's the best you can do when it comes to having confidence with public speaking is be prepared. Even if you don't know your exact speech, know your general structure. When it comes to speaking in front of a pupillage panel, well, I'm gonna talk about BBTC scholarship panel or any sort of scholarship panel, they're comprised of barristers. So at the end of the day, they've come to hear you. And you've got to remember that when you're speaking, someone has come to hear you, whether the, whether it's a panel for an interview or you're doing a moot and the judge is there, they've come to hear you. Someone is actually invested in hearing what you have to say. So the best you can do is be prepared practice and actually allow yourself to engage that person who has put themselves in the position of being ready to listen to you give them what they paid for and focus on pre presenting and communicating your message clearly focus on making sure that message has landed sometimes you i had a really good tip today um, from a barrister at, in a temple at my qualifying session and he was talking about how sometimes in court he won't say a lot but he'll say what counts which I thought was an amazing like I just thought it was so smart but that's true so when you're doing public speaking don't worry so much about saying a lot say what counts who's your audience what's the problem what are you supposed to be talking about is keep focused on the preparation because once you're prepared, you can be nervous all you like, but you're ready. And I would really suggest that you find ways that you can practice speaking and the more it terrifies you, the better. So if one thing I used to keep doing to encourage myself is that I would always volunteer for talent shows because I wanted to just be in front of my friends because like singing in front of my friends was terrifying because you never know if you're going to get made fun of. I, keep practicing, keep pushing yourself out your comfort zone. Right, so that's it for me in my get unready with me slash work with me but I'm not actually working right now video. Um, I'm going to record another video which is just a general chit chat about life on the bbtc and what i'm doing and how i'm getting on so watch that one in the meantime peace out guys i don't know where i got this spoon from um don't forget follow lawcareers.net on youtube i mean subscribe on youtube subscribe to blessing makosha on youtube as well that's my personal channel and make sure that you are following lawcareers.net on twitter and instagram because they have the best resources for aspiring barristers and make sure that you're on top of all of that um and in the next video i'm gonna talk about you know general chit chats what i do how i keep up to date with things and whatever so peace out guys don't forget to read the blog there is new content up on blessing at the bar.com and i will see you guys later bye